Hi mga karagdarag, welcome back to my vlog Isang napakabonggang pang ilokosor Minuposal distraction look sa inyong lahat Mula dito sa Doha, Qatar Pahawa di lang ako yung nag-intro ko At eto na nga mga karagdarag Punta tayo ngayon sa ilokosor Dahil maraming ganap ang mga kandidata doon Sa Mission Universe Philippines 2022 Dahil doon nga gaganapin ang national costume At may naganap doon na Q&A Sa kanilang press conference Oy, Excited akong panuorin Ang mga laban ng mga frontrunner Versus mga dark horse at yung mga tahimik na mga kandidata kung sino yung kinabahan kung sino yung ano ba kampante kung sino talaga yung ano drop the mic di ba so eto na mga karagdag alam ko na panood na niyo to so excited akong panoorin ang mga ano sagutan ng mga kandidata to so let's watch maayo gabi na inbag ng Aldaw na inbag na Rabi na inbag Rabi na Rabi I'm Lou Dominic Pixar representing Cebu province good evening ma'am so here's evening. my question If you're going to describe Ilocosur sa mga kababayan mo, Cebuanos, what would it be and why? I would definitely describe the Ilocosur as a second home. Some, a place there they would very much put in their bucket, bucket list as much as I have put it in mine. I am very honored and happy that the Ilocosurians have welcomed us all here with open arms, as what Jewel said earlier. They are the most hospitable, most loving. That is why we, Vegan City even, has been dubbed the city that was saved by love. And that's just one example of um, Ilocosur as a whole also, that they are very hospitable. And I, I think I would describe it as my second home from now on. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maayong rabii sa inyo mga Ilocano and I'm Maria Catrina Legado. I'm representing Taguig City. And good good evening, Miss Taguig. So my question is very light question. So how are you? <laughs> how are you guys? So ako, the past few days has really been amazing being here in Vigan and exploring the city as well as enjoying it with my sisters. It's really a time well spent together. I think this is a once-in-a-lifetime journey. And we really have bonded. And I think I would like to thank, of course, the provincial city to really um, being hospitable for us and welcoming uh, us with a wide open and making us feel that we're home. All right, so I know you've been, you've been on the go lately with your busy schedules. How do you connect with your family at home? Actually, um, of course, social media is there. And one important thing for me is to really talk to my family. They've been there to support me. And of course, I, I, th I think a lot of the candidates would relate to that. That it's really so wonderful. I think my favorite delicacy that you've had that I recently tried was your wonderful empanada. It was made with um, your meat and your eggs, and it was cooked very nicely. So I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Okay, so to my question, from the four-day tour you had in the province of Ilocosur, all the heritage sites, the local food, and the legacies, what do you cherish the most and would probably proudly share to your, to your kapabayans at home, in, in your home province? It would have to be the Sikia Mansion. Uh, we visited there yesterday, and it was very interesting because the uh, head of our tour, their tour guide, mentioned to me that I was wearing royal blue and it was something that the families used to wear in the olden days because royal blue exemplified our royalty and I felt flattered. Uh, another fact was that she told me that there are many Ilocanos that moved to Hawaii because they possessed a certain certificate that they own land and that's how they were able to move to Hawaii and that's where I was born. So the fact that there are many Ilocanos here and many Ilocanos in Hawaii makes me very happy because I feel like Ilocanos' love is universal. Thank you so much, Ms. Ilo Ilocanos. Well, definitely, yeah, representing Laguna. Hello, Ms. Laguna. Good evening. Good evening, folks. So, um, marami kayong na-experience uh, during your four-day tour dito sa Ilocos province. No? So, what is a new insight you've gained from your experiences in our province that changed or probably influenced your perspective? Well, it's actually my first time in Ilocos, so I'm thankful for, the wel for welcoming us here and accommodating us. My insight here is I love the history of the people. I've learned from the Sikia house and I love how uh, I love the story of how
So one thing that interests me the most in this tour is the architecture of the houses. Before I wanted to be, my course was, I wanted to be an architecture major, but I wasn't able to do that, so I took up tourism. But in terms of the houses, I, I actually love the designs and I appreciate everything that this the Locuster has provided for us during my stay here. So thank you very much. All right, so you've mentioned, um, well, Ilocosur showcases rich heritage and culture. So um, as a candidate now, you know, uh, what do you think is the importance of preserving our culture and hence promoting it not just to other regions or provinces, but to the world or the universe rather? I believe that as citizens of our country, it should start from with us. It starts from the Filipinos ourselves by promoting our own and supporting our own local products because their products are absolutely wonderful. Like the loom weaving that we have visited, it's absolutely lovely. And we should be able to patronize that and influence other people to do the same. To be proud that we are Filipinos and to showcase to the world how beautiful we are and our artworks as well as our products are. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ms. Laguna. Expo from Pasay City. Hi, good evening everyone. I am Celeste Cortesi representing Pasay. Uh, how did you find the tourist spots that you visited here in the province of Ilocos It was actually really nice. It is my first time here in Vigan and in Ilocos So I experienced such wonderful places. And even though we're so tired with all the activities, I enjoyed every single moment. and. We had a lot of time to bond with all the girls, so it has been an amazing uh, experience for us. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, hello everyone. My name is Chidaide Purvis Kurimihana <laughs> from Davao del Sur. <laughs> so, my question for is, I would like to hear your first impression when you came here in Ilocosur, and was it way different from your expectations, or did it, it, did it exceed your expectations? Wow, it definitely exceeded my expectations. Okay, now as a pageant queen who joined Miss Universe Philippines again, I thought, I told myself, you know what? I'm gonna control my diet. I'm not gonna eat that much. Well, thank you so much, Governor. I ended up going back and forth to the bathroom every single day, thanks to your empanadas. <laughs> Thanks to all your delicacies, and I'm just really grateful to be able to experience not just the food, but the love and the hospitality, hospitality of the people. So, Governor, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Ilocosurians. <laughs> thank you, Pop. So, we are currently celebrating Earth Day, and a very important event that aims to spread awareness about issues such as pollution, deforestation, and global warming. Recently, there has also been issues about scientists from U.S. protesting because of the climate change, warning us that we only have three to five years to save the Earth. Given your influence, because you have a lot of followers and supporters, especially on Instagram, how would you motivate and encourage people to join this movement? And what platforms would you mainly utilize? Well, saving the environment is something that's very important to me because whenever I watch documentaries or just anything informative about you know, the future of our world, it really holds a great importance for me because of course my future generation deserves to experience the earth that we all have now. So like you said, I do have a platform, especially utilizing the Miss Universe platform, really gives you a voice that can be heard. So I think it really starts with myself and how I utilize my actions and how I really uh, show through example how I can you know preserve the earth um, recycle and really be conscious about my very own actions because it has to first start with myself and then everybody else can follow that thank you thank you so much good evening I'm Francesca Alexine Ligando de Vaz from the seafood capital of the Philippines raw city capital Woo. so my question <laughs> It's my first pageant ever, so this is my first q and too. <laughs> okay, Nabe. Shut up! Okay, Nabe. <laughs> <laughs> what delicacy or product has struck you the most when you came here in Ilocosur that you would also love to introduce in your hometown? Definitely the bagnet. 
but um, I'm trying to stop myself from eating a lot because the swimsuit competition is very near, but I can't stop eating Vagnet. Such a good food. <laughs> Okay. Thank you for My last question po goes to Miss Davao del Norte. <laughs> Good evening everyone. I am Johnny Chiarsena representing Davao del Norte. So, what advice would you tell a young girl who aspires to become a Miss Universe Philippines candidate as well? But in this situation, this young girl has numerously competed in their province but has failed to win the crown. Never give up on your dreams. That's something that I would tell that young girl because it's never the end. You can still keep trying and trying even if you have reached a certain age or the limit. You're, you're at that point in your life and you think that it's your last chance, but don't ever give up because you never know if your last chance will be the one for you. God has a perfect timing in every situation and if you keep on pursuing your dreams, if it's really something that you want to do, keep doing it because nobody else can stop you but you thank you thank you for thank you for why do rumors spread quickly okay. i believe social media has actually played a great impact in terms of spreading rumors um especially now that when we face pandemic social media was one access to spread information and we really need to be mindful of what we post on social media because it can hurt other people's feelings as well. And we should not be believing on rumors, but we should be also genuinely validating what's correct and what's not. That's it. Okay, thank you so much. I am Isabel Dalagluche, representing Mandawi City. Yes. Uh, hi, Ms. Mandawi. How are you? Uh, I'm good, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Mandawe, uh, you are one of the favorites of our netizens based on the likes and reactions you're getting on Miss Universe Philippines social media platforms. How do you feel about it and does it boost your confidence? Definitely. Um, as everyone, everyone, everybody knows, this is actually unexpected. Um, joining Miss Universe is something that I never expected. Me joining in this pageant, knowing that my height is not the standard of beauty pageant. But when I knew that Miss Universe is trying to break the barriers about height requirement, it was actually one of my motivation to pursue this journey. And getting a lot of support from my supporters, from my family is something that I am grateful. And I, um, that is actually what keeps me going. And I'm so happy that I have people like them to support me in this journey. Thank you. And my name is Chantal Elise Legaspi Schmidt, and I am representing Cebu City. Okay. Uh, how are you, Miss Cebu? I'm good. How are you? I'm good as well. Yeah, um, Miss Cebu, considering the fact that Ilocos and Cebu is far from each other, what do you think is their similarities? Sorry? Uh, what do you think is their similarities? Well, I have seen that both Cebuanos and I mean, Cebu, people from Cebu and Ilocos Sur are both very passionate in their own rights. We have Cebuanos who are very deeply passionate about faith, for example. We deeply cherish our love for Senor Santo Nino. We celebrate love in general. And then, as a Cebuana, what I found so beautiful about Vigan City in particular was the love story in World War II, where this beautiful city was spared out of love. And as a Cebuana who's very faithful, but also as a as an avid bookworm, you know, I saw these connections, and that is something that is so beautiful about our world and about both our communities. Thank you. Thank you. And my last question is for Miss Ilocos. You mentioned a while back that uh, you were the tourist guide of uh, your co-candidates. Kumusta naman ang yung pagpapakilala sa Ilocano culture sa mga kapwa mo kandidata? Okay, so introducing my, our province, my province, Ilocosur, to these beautiful ladies is, I believe, um, Bilin. 
because I, I just had like a one-way um, tour. So I told them about the background, the history, and why Vegan City was saved. I told them that it was saved because of love. And I told them how we, the local Syrians, commemorate our traditions, our cultures, and heritage. And um, I believe that in introducing my province to them, I get to share to them why I am who I am today. I get to share to them my history, my background, and the place where I came in. And it is with great privilege that we are hosting the Miss Universe um, Philippines right now because it has made my journey really memorable. If somebody asks me, um, maybe 50 years from now what would be my um, most memorable experience it would be this moment because at this moment i am able to raise ilocasur to raise who i am and who i've been through and to raise the people that are be behind me through this journey and i hope that your four day tour um you got you get to love our province and you get to take it home with you um the values that we share and the memories that you had. Four days is not enough, but I hope you will come back and um, meet us again. That would be all. Thank you very much. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, too. As you have seen, the living past is uh, within the hearts of every smile or every Ilocosuria that you see. And uh, how would you, uh, you know, try to relate it in every day? Yung parang nakikita mo sa kanila, Ano yung tagiging uh, spark sa buhay nila? Sa so, nakita mo rito, yung experience mo? Right, um, that's quite a um, telling question. But of course, I'd also like to thank the provincial government of Ilocos Sur for making all of this very possible. And particularly the Singson family for being such generous hosts to us. But going back to the question, sir. Actually, um, when I came here to Ilocos Sur, it was my first time. And I brought a piece of Misami's Oriental with me with the coconut um, Filipiniana ensemble I wore during the fountain show. And going back to Manila tomorrow, I'm proud to say that I'm bringing a piece of Ilocosur with me in the form of the Abel Ilocano bag that I have with me tonight. Um, I think that was really the highlight of my trip because I always love, I've always loved to support our uh, indigenous communities but also to promote our local products because at the end of the day, we're not only um, emboldening the sense of Filipino, uh, our Filipino-ness, but at the same time, when we support our local products, we're empowering actual people. And I'd say to say that I've also made a friend, actually, um, at the Looming Weaving. His name is, her name rather, is um, Uver Horton. Um, we both shared common ground. We found common ground in the sense that we had to sell a few things to get by in high school. But what really inspired me about her is that she took all of that, all of her worries, all of her problems, and she transformed it into something beautiful. And she translated that into the Abel Ilocano fabric. So I'm very much happy and um, very fulfilled to bring that part of my of Ilocosur with me. And I hope that with this platform, Miss Universe Philippines, I can continue to showcase our Filipino products, and especially starting with the products of Ilocosur. So thank you so much. Thank you. I got another one, another one. And Sorry. You're leaving for Manila tomorrow, but you're always free to come back. You're always welcome. Yes, and yes, you. thank you so much. Yes. Looking forward to that. <laughs> okay, one, one more. Anong kilig ang nakita mo dito sa Ilocosur? Kilig? Yeah, aside from me. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Dokla. De, anong kilig? Anong kilig ang nakita mo dito sa Ilocosur? Oh, yeah, and obviously the beauty of every single uh, Ilocano. Um, not just the physical beauty, but of course, all of you guys seem to have wisdom beyond your years. But for me, what has to top my list, unfortunately, sir, would have to be the bug net because all of the candidates know how matatao I am. <laughs> it doesn't show, but I absolutely love your food. Um, it, and it's just as vibrant as your culture. So um, I wish I could go come back here very sometimes and to experience more of the bug net. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there you have it. Davao del Norte. Uy! Ang communication talaga ng batang to, grabe. Sayang nga lang, hindi lang siya masyadong katangkaran ba at hindi natin masasabing malakas yung wow factor ng beauty niya. Kung utak lang talaga ang labanan, kayang-kaya niyang talunin itong si ano, 
si Michelle D, si uh, Pasay at saka si Katrina. Kung dito lang, ano ba, kung quizby lang ito, oh, ilang labanan, ako, eh, daog ni si Dabaw din Norte. Uy, yung bunga nga, niya ninyo ba, unstoppable, pagkaayo, walang halong bias na reaction video to. At isa pa talaga sa binabantayan ko ngayon na tiyak na aarangkada talaga to sa susunod na round ng Mission Universe Philippines 2022. Walang iba ko, di si Misamis Oriental. Mm. Hawa di alam ko, kasi Misamis Oriental na ta. Grabe si ano no, Anabel no. Ang ganda. Habang tumatagal ang ano ba, hindi. Habang palapapalapit yung laban, talagang nagsashine itong si Anabel McDonald. Mm. Tapos, full package din to, beauty. Ang ganda ng beauty. Ang gaan ng ano niya ba, uh, aura ng beauty niya, di ba? Sarap ilaban sa Miss Earth nito eh. Pag hindi talaga itong manalo sa Miss Universe Philippines 2022. Tapos, body rin. Ang galing din itong rumampa. <laughs> Tapos, ang, di, ang dito rin, ang utak din. Ako, masasabi ko talagang kompleto ko. Full package itong si Annabelle McDonald. Mm. Habang tumatagal, lalo ko siyang nagugustuhan. Di ba? Lalo na yung pa curly hair niya. O, oh, di ba? Murag si Coragan. Hinihintay ko yung ano niya, performance niya sa uh, per, pre, for, uh, per, for, performance niya sa preliminary competition. Kung aarangkada siya sa pre, preliminary competition, mga karag-karag, kayang-kaya niyang pumasok sa top 5. Misamis Oriental. At ito pa, Ilo-Ilo Province. <laughs> Sabi ng kasing huwag pahawakin ng mic ito si Ilo-Ilo Province eh, dahil pag makahawak talaga ito ng mayo ewan ko lang, ang sarap talaga niya pakinggan, magsalita. Yung buong-buo yung boses niya, tapos yung delivery ng ano niya ba, speech niya ang, sa, parang ano ba, nahalala ko talaga si Katsuyo na Gray, pag magsasalita na sarap yung makatunganga ka na lang kasi ang ganda ng uh, boses niya tapos buko yung ano niya, pagsasalita niya na ang sarap pakinggan sa tenga. Itong si An Ilo Ilo Province, si Vanessa Caro ba? Pag itong makapasok tong tatlo, si Ilo Ilo Province, si Misamis Oriental, tapos si Davao del Norte. Hmm. Kabahan na si Katrina, eh. kabahan na si Celeste, kabahan na si Michelle D. <laughs> ba diba sila yung mga frontrunner na malalakas? Tapos makapasok lang tong mga tahimik lang at hindi masyado masasabi natin, wow na wow talaga. Kung quizby lang lagi ang labanan, daog na ning tulog. Idagdag pa natin si Julia. Sayang lang, hindi ko narinig si Julia nga na ano ba, nagsalita na in-interview. Ewan ko sa iba mga video kung nagsalit na na-interview ba si Julia. Pero sa interview to na napanood ko, sayang naghintay talaga ako. Sana tawagin si Albay. Dahil pag tinawag si Albay, wala na apat na sila. Hintayin ko na lang talaga yung ano nila sa preliminary competition. Tapos doon na talaga yung final na ano natin ba, prediction natin kung sino yung mga kandidatang maligwa, kung sino yung mga kandidatang aarangkada. So far talaga, naku, kinabahan talaga ako dito sa mga ano, mga frontrunner siguro may malaglag talaga nito sa top 5 natin sa listahan. ba diba? Preliminary, ano na sa 27 ng mga karag-karag, excited ako dito na talaga natin makikita ba na ay, ay, alaka, kung sino ba yung kabado ba? Kung sino yung <laughs> magbaybay na sa ano sa listahan natin. Nako! Yan ang mga karag-karag, sino sa inyo ang nag-stand out sa pa-video na to sa kanilang tapatan sa press conference sa Mission Universe Philippines 2022 sa naganap sa Ilocosor. Mm, excited na ba kayo? Nako, ihanda nyo na yung mga listahan ninyo. And, maghingay tayo sa comment section mga karagkarag kung sino sa mga kandidatang to ang sa tingin ninyo umarangkada at arangkada talaga sa final. Yung walang halong ano ha, kaikitan ha. Mm. At, kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa channel ko, nako mag-subscribe ka na pala updated ka sa mga latest na mga pa-issue, mga pa-chika, mga pa-intriga. Yun yung content ng channel ko. Huwag niyo akong hanapan ng ano. Ito talaga ako. <laughs> Doon tayo sa mga pa-issue. Kasi wala naman kasing masyadong gumagawa ng ano ba. Content na ano dito. Yung mga pa-issue, di ba, na nagre-reaction. Sikura, gan lang talaga yung ano. <laughs> tabian. Hmm, sa mga tabian, diha, di rin, magtapok na ta. <laughs> diha na mo. Ay, kaya magtiwas na ko. Kuan limpyo. Bye-bye!